I'm an aerial photographer and I do a lot of real estate photos. So um, if you think my photos suck, you can ignore my crap advice. But I think Mavic 2 Pro is great and I own one, but I don't think you need to spend that much money on a drone if you want to get good photos. Excuse me, if you want to get great photos still. There's a couple of things you can do really quickly that take a little bit of time to learn. First of all, shoot not in JPEG, which is the standard photo mode that comes with most cameras. The camera processor built in, the tiny one, is going to try and do its best to get all the color and data and give you an image. Or you can shoot in RAW, which just captures data. Then you take it into Adobe Lightroom and you can adjust all the highlights and the shadows and the color saturation. You can bring down the sky and bring up the foreground and it gives you dramatically better photos. I would take a Phantom 3 standard shooting RAW over a Mavic 2 Pro shooting JPEGs any day. Not kidding. You seriously need to be doing this. Second, you can do something, and this is really common and important with real estate, especially if you're shooting something like sunset or in lighting extremes like midday. Shoot in a photo mode called HDR and not to get the HDR that the camera gives you or the phone gives you with the app, but take those photos, those raw photos, hopefully, into Adobe Lightroom. All you have to do is highlight all of them, right click and go to photo merge. HDR and then adjust the shadows and the highlights seriously with knobs there and you can get so so much richer detail out of the camera and color and it'll look really really professional you don't even need to hire a team of people to do this it's you can do it yourself with a really old drone a $350 used Phantom 3 standard so don't fret about having the newest equipment or justifying buying expensive toys you can still get super good stuff with an old drone I have tons of videos on how to do this stuff and how to use them to their full potential but i want to make the point that you can still get a ton of use once you know how to maximize your drone and it's even better when you have something new like a mavic 2 pro